What? What is your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! What's your name? Ezekiel! Fuck you, Ezekiel! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! What is up, guys? C10 Danny, I'm back with another video. I apologize that I didn't get a chance to upload last week. Things just got really, really fucked up really fast. Um, this car actually broke, believe it or not, and it broke in kind of a major way. So I'm driving and I get this really, really sweet smell, and I'm assuming it's coolant, but I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving, and I look in my rearview mirror and I see a bunch of smoke. Like my rearview mirror and my side mirrors are super foggy, and I see this fat, fat trail of smoke. Uh, right behind me so I immediately pull over uh, because obviously I didn't want to drive the car like that and as soon as I pull over I look under the car and there is a huge huge puddle of transmission fluid all over the place it was covering the entire undercarriage of the car there was so much so much transmission fluid everywhere uh, it was all piling up around the bell housing area so where the transmission connects to the motor and usually the culprit of that happening is your pump and your bushing on your transmission so over time this is a part that wears out um, and what happens is that when the bushing wears out as your torque converter is spinning um, it kind of creates just enough of a gap for the transmission fluid to leak out of there and that's what causes all the fluid to portal up around the bell housing area so I had to take it to the shop the car was also already going in there for AC so I just had the same shop do it they're actually a transmission shop here in the area they're called performance transmission um, I'll leave their phone number down in the description. They do a fantastic job. They did uh, my first car, which was actually a 2003 Mustang GT. They did a clutch on that car and a bunch of homies here in the area. They've done torque converters and Corvette servos and just random transmission stuff for them. Uh, so I'll leave their phone number down in the description below if you're in the Modesto area. But anyway, yeah, so that happened and the car was there for a week and a half. I dropped it off. I want to say two weeks ago on Wednesday or on a Tuesday sorry no it was it was a Wednesday I dropped it off two weeks ago on a Wednesday and I just got it back this last Friday so it was there for a week and like two or three days um, but yeah they did a great job it drives just fine now so I kind of want to talk a little bit about the plans for this car so it is a four-cylinder automatic car and I have been entertaining the idea of a 302 or a 351 swap obviously with the T5 and mounted transmission um, but yeah this car will be getting a V8 in the near future first I need to finish the C10 and also the black car the black car started leaking coolant around the timing chain cover area um, and it is a timing chain cover that's leaking the coolant so I need to replace that gasket and hope that that fixes the issue I'm more than confident that it will it's a very common issue with those motors um, just the design of that cover is piss poor um, and you have your oil ports there as well um, so once that starts leaking coolant it all goes down into your oil pan and it starts making milk down there so you got to replace that ASAP um, I rolled the car in the garage so I will show you guys an update I emptied out my garage for the most part there's still a bunch of stuff in there but I'm trying to turn my garage into kind of like a little work area um, if you will I want to get like a toolbox in there and a workbench and lights and whatnot uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a welder in there and an air compressor um, to make it more of like a workshop environment um, and get a lot more work done in there but right now I'm on my way to the gym so I'm gonna get a workout in and then I will check back in with you guys I'm now done at the gym um, Today was legs and shoulder day. Also got a little bit of bag work in. It's super hot out here in Minnesota. So it's like like 100 degrees and it's like eight at night. It's super late and it's still really hot. But let me go ahead and show you guys. I went ahead and I got rid of the little chrome fender flares that were on the car, but I still haven't figured out a good way to get rid of this. Um, it's double-sided sticky tape, but for whatever reason, this side like really really bonded to the clear coat i don't know if you can see that little lip there but the other side is actually not so bad let me show you guys this side is actually not so bad like i can probably just buff this and it'll go away and it's just fine the other side however i don't know why but the two on that side are way worse than the two on this side the two on this side were just fine like you can even see this side it's good there's no more tape on there but also with the car the driver's side window won't roll up anymore so i gotta fix that as well and then also the AC is busted. Um, 
has a leak somewhere. We need to go ahead and put dye in it so we can figure out where the fucking leak is at. But that's kind of frustrating because I was under the impression that it just needed a recharge. I do, however, have a Mach 1 lip off of a New Edge Mustang that I'm going to be going ahead and installing on the car uh, real, real soon. That will actually be the next video coming up. But as for the rest of the car, I am completely happy. I've been daily driving this thing for about a week now, and it's been treating me really, really well. The car does need an alignment very, very desperately. As you guys can see, this wear on the tires, um, because there is no straight up and down wear marks, they're all faced in i'm assuming the car has really bad toe or at least that's what the cause for those wear marks could be i don't think that it has camber just because the car is stock ride height so i don't think it's camber wear or anything like that i'm assuming maybe like tie rods or ball joints or something were replaced and then the car wasn't aligned but anyway yeah that's actually going to be the end of today's video it's actually a real short one today um i just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on in the garage the c10 i got the motor mounts for the ls1 so i'll be putting the ls1 on there real soon i know i've been saying that a lot but i've had a lot going on at home and this week i'm also going to be knocking out the timing chain cover on the black fox body so you guys will go ahead and see that that car also might be up for sale really soon to go ahead and fund the 5.0 swap for this car but yeah that's actually going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you are brand new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit those post notifications i upload videos just like this one each and every wednesday so if you don't want to miss those hit that i would appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button as it would help out the channel out a lot help get the videos out to a lot more people but yeah this was c10 danny and i will catch you guys in the next one thank you guys peace out